Welcome to the Fairness Campaign vlog. This is Chris Hartman, director of the campaign, coming to you this time from the Eisenhower Executive Office Building of the White House in Washington, D.C., where I've been participating all day long in the White House's Community Leaders Briefing Series. I came up to D.C., however, one day early so that I could meet with Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell's office from Kentucky to talk about two issues specific to the LGBT community. The first, the Employment Non-Discrimination Act, which would extend anti-discrimination protections and employment to all Americans on the basis of their perceived sexual orientation and gender identity. The second, the Safe Schools Improvement Act, which would enumerate anti-bullying protections to include not just sexual orientation and gender identity, but also race, religion, nation of origin, on and on. I met with Senator McConnell's legal counsel, Russell Coleman, who had some refutations to supporting both of those bills. First, for the Employment Non-Discrimination Act, his arguments were economically based, fearing that small businesses particularly would incur some fairly large legal fees surrounding court cases and litigation for anti-discrimination complaints. The second, for the Safe Schools Improvement Act, Mr. Coleman suggested that it would be difficult to prove that students are more highly discriminated against or bullied in the classroom setting on the basis of their perceived sexual orientation or gender identity than students who say are overweight or wear glasses or have pimples. Perhaps one thing that I did not drive home well enough to Mr. Coleman is that the Safe Schools Improvement Act would once again protect all students from bullying on the basis of really anything. Race, religion, sex, nation of origin, on and on. So one thing that I would ask you to do as a fairness supporter is to contact Mr. Coleman at Russell, R-U-S-S-E-L-L -L underscore Coleman, C-O-L-E-M-A-N at McConnell that's M-C-C-O-N-N-E-L-L dot Senate dot gov. Russell underscore Coleman at McConnell dot Senate dot gov. And ask him to consider asking Senator McConnell to support the Safe Schools Improvement Act should it ever come to the Senate on the basis of its protecting all students from bullying, on the basis of all protected classes and more. Finally, I want to share some resources that I gained today from the White House's Community Leaders Briefing Series, particularly some web resources at the White House. There's one sort of catch-all site where you can access information on many constituent groups or uh, issues. It's whitehouse.gov slash engage. And then I'm going to give you the specific sites for many of these issues and or constituent groups. So, for the issues, whitehouse.gov slash issues slash disabilities, whitehouse.gov slash issues slash veterans, slash issues slash seniors dash and dash social dash security. And then for the constituent groups, whitehouse.gov slash African Americans, whitehouse.gov slash LGBT, slash AAPI, slash Hispanic, slash women, slash young Americans. So there are a number of resources available from the White House to keep you informed on what the White House views as important in any of these issues or constituent groups. Also, if you're a young person looking to intern at the White House, the more supporters we can get within these walls, the better. So simply go to whitehouse.gov slash internships to fill out an application to come here to DC to serve with the president. That's a mouthful. Thanks for watching. In fairness, I'm Chris.